Hi guys, welcome to a new video. If you would like to learn more about the Issei Miyake Lo Disei Purom Vetivea, so this 2023 release from Issei Miyake, and uh, do you want to know how I think it is, then please stay tuned. As I said earlier, I have here an original sample from uh, Issei Miyake for the Lodice Purom Vetivea. And for me, Issei Miyake was um, under the radar up, up to now, so I wasn't particularly interested in the brand until I got this uh, sample in a, in a package for a perfume which I purchased online. And I said, okay, let's uh, try it. This is a um, perfume released by Issei Miyake now, so in 2023. What is special about this release is that uh, it should be uh, L'Odyssey pour Rome Saint DNA with vetiver. So they also have cedar, wood, uh, wood, so W O O D, wood, and so on. But I wasn't very curious about testing those ones. This one, just by chance, I have sprayed it and you will find out if I like it or how I think it is. Um, some notes from the marketing because I like it when the marketing team does its job and posts something about the scent and it's just it's not just a simple release it comes with a story so they say this is a fragrance evoking the encounter between pure water and raw natural elements very nice sounds good makes you curious how is it discover a vibrant contrasting fragrance exploring the interaction between the fluidity and freshness of water so far very nice and powerful notes of vetiver. The sample uh, here, I have used it already a bit and um, I can uh, tell you that uh, the impression was really good. I like this scent very much. I have goosebumps already, see? So I am a very big fan of this scent. Um, I will spray it on the wrist, so I don't want to use a paper strip for it because I enjoy the smell very much. This is a fresh, spicy, scent. The perfumer behind this is Marie Salaman and if this name doesn't tell you much let me remind you a bit what she has done like some of her most popular scents she has created by the fireplace from Replica, Black Opium Le Parfum and Eau de Parfum from Yves Saint Laurent, Mandarin Basilic from Guerlain which is very popular, uh, Sohan from Penhaligons. So Marie Salaman knows how to create special scents. So if you think about the fireplace, it's a smoky, very interesting niche perfume. If you think about Sohan, she plays with wood. If you think about Mandarin Basilic, it's a fresh scent. So Marie Salaman is one of my favorite perfumers. And let's see what she has done here. So I'm gonna spray now. The sample from Issey Miyake is very good. Guys, the scent is the scent is really nice. So in top notes you'll have ginger, so it has this sparkling ginger note. In middle notes the calming clary sage, which I think somehow in the latest uh, releases from every house, clary sage is a note that is included because it has this calming, beautiful effect. And in base notes, vetiva. So only three notes are listed on the website of Issey Miyake, uh, on Parfumo, on Fragrantica, only three notes. The ginger start is so nice and so sparkling and it's also somehow sweet. For me, this perfume is sweet and fresh with the spiciness from the vetiver, let's say. The longevity is very, very good. I have uh, sprayed twice this sample as you saw the sprayer is quite good at this sample on my jacket and went out um, the other day and the longevity is quite good for this new scent um, i would say about six to seven hours you can still smell it and now the jacket is in the lobby and each time i'm going outside of the house and inside and so on and i don't take this jacket i can smell it so it has projection, it has performance, it has a wonderful smell. They work so well these notes together. What I like very much about this scent is the fact that it has a kind of 90s vibe to it. So when I sprayed it first time on a paper strip and I, I smelled it, 
it uh, like transposed me into the 90s. I was alive in the 90s as a kid. The perfumes that I smelled around me back in the day, they were powerful, they were sparkling, they were like room filling somehow. And this one gives me this nice um, calming and familiar um, effect. I don't know what is it is maybe the, the calming Clarice age. It has this 90s vibe plus this updated smells. It doesn't seem like it's, um, it's aquatic perfumes like Aqua Di Gio and so on. It doesn't give me this impression that is a perfume from the past brought to actuality, which is like the Issey Miyake Purom, the, the Eau de Toilette. I'm very thrilled about how this smells. And I tell you honestly, I am looking currently to find a bottle of this scent. I will buy a 50 milliliter bottle of this scent because I like it very much. I decided to make this review and share with you my opinions about this release from Issey Miyake because it's such a new release and many people probably are curious to see how it smells and I thought maybe I will record a video, post it and share with you what I think. If it was bad I would have told you it's bad but I'm happy to say that I think it's very good. I enjoy it very much. I think it's very versatile. You can wear it absolutely everywhere. Nobody will be offended by this smell. It's a very pleasant smell. As seasons I think um, it will work much better in the warmer uh, months. So summer, spring, uh, early autumn in the winter and so on only maybe in the house if you like the smell like before you go to sleep you, you spray this one because you like how it smells but outside I don't think it's so powerful to fight the cold and in the end I will rate it a 9 out of 10 because I think it's a great release from Issey Miyake and Marisa Laman has done here a great job and I'm really thrilled to purchase a bottle because I think this is a scent which smells great and uh, the summer will come and I think I will wear this very much in the coming summer. And I'm very curious to know what do you think about the Issey Miyake as a brand. If you know this scent, the L'Odyssey pour Rome Vetiver, and if you have managed to try it and how do you think it is. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope this uh, enthusiastic review uh, was helpful. I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Stay healthy. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.